The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 1st Chapter, Text Number 22, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on July 6th, 1975, in Chicago, Illinois. That fallen Brahmana of the name of Jamil was giving trouble to all other men by forcibly arresting them cheating them by gambling with weighted dice or by directly plundering someone. Thus he used to earn his livelihood to maintain his family by giving trouble and pain to others. Mandakshai koitabai shoidjai garhizang vrittimaskitam vidhrat kutumba Asuchi Jataya Masa Vena. Vibrat. Vibrat Kudumba Asuchi Jataya Masa Vena. Vibrat. We have to maintain our body. This is called Vibrat. That is necessary. Uh, we have got this body in this material world. This is not spiritual world. In the spiritual world, there is no necessity, necessity of maintaining the body. The body is spiritual. As we have got here in this material world, to maintain this body, I require to eat, I require to sleep, I require to satisfy my senses, and I require to defend the four necessities. And the spiritual body means these four kinds of bodily demands, kneel, namo. That is spiritual life. That means no eating, no sleeping, no sex, no defense. Uh, that Goswamis, six Goswamis in Vrindavan, they practice. Nidrahara Vihara Kadi Vijitai. They conquered over sleeping, eating, mating, and defending. Nidra means sleeping. Ahara means eating. Vihara means sex. Nidra ahara vihara kadi vidito. Kankar. So this is the advancement of spiritual life. When we conquer over these things, that means we have come to the spiritual path. So long we have got this material body, it is not possible, but try to minimize. Try to minimize. The uh, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, uh, he was very rich man's son. His father's income five hundred years ago was twelve hundred thousand rupees. So. Now you know the exchange is, what is the exchange today? It is at least five hundred times increase. Uh, anyway, that Raghunath Das Goswami, when left home, his father and uncle was very strictly observing. Uh, he was given very nice, beautiful wife and very beautiful house, but he was not very much satisfied. He wanted to join Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, so his father was very strictly keeping guard that this boy may not go out. Just like some of your parents do. <laughs> uh, so, but if this cannot be checked. Uh, so Raghunath Das Goswami, after all, by some trees, after all, he was very intelligent, rich man's son. 
he went there to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his mother was advising to his father that why didn't you handcuff this boy? So his father was saying that I have already handcuffed him with such beautiful wife and such beautiful residence and he has opened this. Now what this material handcuff will do? So anyway, he left father's home and approached Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and when he was in in Jagannath Puri, and he was entrusted to Sarup Dhamadar Goswami, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's secretary, uh, to take care of him. So he was practicing this thing, how to conquer over eating, sleeping, making, and defense. It's a long story. But as one who has read Bhagavad Gita, Chaitanya Chaitanya So at last, when he was living at Radha Kunda, he was taking every alternate day a little quantity of butter. Nothing. So it is possible. When he left home, his father sent uh, four men and with arrangement that he would get four hundred rupees in those days. Four hundred rupees mean at least twenty times. Mm-hmm. What is it? Four hundred rupees twenty times? Some eh? thousand. Eh? Eight thousand rupees. For his personal expenditure. Eh? So you are utilizing that money by in inviting sannyasis of Jagannath Puri. There are many sannyasis. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was also being invited. After a few days there was no invitation. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inquired his secretary, why Jagannath does not invite so he replied that he refused to take his father's contribution. So Chaitanya said, oh, it is very nice. It is not that money will come from home and I shall become a renowned sort of life. No. He understood that I have left my home. Why shall I take money from my father? So in this way, Raghunath Das Goswami, one of the six Goswami, very important devotee, he used to leave, he used to eat every alternate, not daily. Uh, one day starving and the next day a little bit. But he was uh, observing his regulatory principle, taking thrice daily bath, and offering uh, dandavat, uh, what is called? Uh, uh, but counting, numerical, just like we count twenty-five rounds minimum. So Raghunath Das Goswami was also chanting uh, uh, by counting. Similarly he was offering dandavat, he offered dandavat, the same that is also counting. Sankha purvaka nama gana nasibhi. Sankha purvaka. Keeping a strength, a numerical strength, just like we are advised, at least sixteen now. So these things were going on. Not that because he was taking little butter or something, he lost his strength. No, the strength was all that. So, the fasting means if you don't feel weak, then it, you fast. Not that you imitate Raghunath Das Goswami, that is not possible in the beginning, but it is possible if you practice. If you practice. 
నిత్యాహార విహారకాది విదితౌ ప్రత్యంతౌ దీనౌ సంఖ్యాపూర్వక నామగాననతి కాలావశాన్ని స్మృతౌ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఇస్ పాసిబుల్ బట్ దాట్ ఈస్ అడ్వాన్స్ స్పిరిచువల్ లైఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నో యూజ్ ఇమిటేటింగ్ హైర్ అథారిటీ హరిదాస్ ఠాకూర్ జస్ట్ లైక్ యూ ఆర్ చాంటింగ్ నాట్ సిక్స్టీన్ డౌన్ బట్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ సిక్స్టీ ఫోర్ డౌన్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ పాసిబుల్ గ్రేట్ సనై సనై gradually we have to practice so so long we are in this material world not in the spiritual world still we have to live very honestly then there is hope for i mean raising oneself to the spiritual platform So here, yesterday we have discussed Ajamila Nama, Kaschit, Dija, Dija, a Brahman. Dija is not still Brahman. Dija means he is initiated, Dija, means second birth. Saraskara Bhavet Dija, by the formatory method, one is initiated for the second time or second bar then he is uh, educated by the basic literature that uh, so we have got so many books after initiation one becomes bona fide student to study all these basic literature uh, then he becomes vipra that is ramanical stage vidu patha bhavit vipra and not only simply reading but when he realizes what is brahma then he is brahma not easy this stage vidu patha bhavit vipra brahma janati iti brahma this brahma is impersonal brahma. and still he have to go about uh, when brahmeti parmatmeti bhagavan uh, in the beginning brahma realization impersonal then as you gradually increase then parmatma realization that is meditation uh, that is meditation ధ్యానావస్థిత తద్గతేన మనసా పశ్యంతిం జో ది జోగీస్ బై మెడిటేషన్ దే అబ్జర్వ్ ది సుప్రీం పర్సనాలిటీ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ ఇన్ విష్ణు విత్ ఇన్ ది హార్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ జోగీస్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ అండ్ అబౌ దట్ దేర్ ఈస్ పర్సనల్ జాలైజేషన్ భగవాన్ సో when you realize the personality of god is then you become a vishnu this is gradual stage uh, <coughs> so this dijo uh, as soon as he contacted a prostitute uh, prostitute unchaste uh, pungstoli her name is pungstoli those who are Uh, I am going to say, moved by another person. They are called Pumshtra. Uh, they become captivated by another person. So they are, another name is prostitute. So this Dijo, although he was initiated uh, to make further progress to become Brahmana and Vaishnava, in the middle he contacted one prostitute young man became a victim therefore prostitute dashi put uh he contacted and remained as husband wife our friend so by the contact of this prostitute the result was nashta sadacha 
we became lost of all uh, gentle activity. Rasta sadhacha. Sadhacha means, sat means gentle. And achar means behavior. Gentleman's behavior. What is that gentleman's behavior that we teach? That you don't eat meat, don't have illicit sex, no gambling, no intoxication, rise early in the morning, take bath, chant Hare Krishna, attend Mangala Ritri. These are called sadhata. So, on account of his contact with this prostitute, Although he was born in a Brahmin family and he was reformed up to the point of initiation, he fell a victim. And as soon as he fell victim to that prostitute, nasta sadhachara. Dasya sam. Why sadhachara? Why is he lose? No, dasya sam sadhita. Because he is associating with this prostitute. Uh, Therefore, the next uh, sequence is that he should be bereft of all gentle beings. Therefore, to create a first-class man, he requires great endeavor. It is not that you go to school, colleges, and learn and smoke and do all nonsense, and you can elevate. It is the fourth class, fifth class. The modern educational system is producing uh, not only four, fourth class is also gentle. Fifth class, sixth class. Fifth class, sixth class. <coughs> education means what is the education? What is the symptom of educa- education? Education that is described by Chanakya Pandit. Madhrivatparadareshu. The first educational symptom is that except one's own wife, any woman is mother. Uh, this is the first symptom of education. Madhrivatparadareshu. Paradambeshu loskava. And others' property and money is just like garbage in the... Uh, not very many years, say about hundred years ago, we have heard the name, the Kashmir state. The Kashmir state was so strict, if somebody had sold, stolen others' property, and if it, it is proved, the thieves' hands will be cut off. Still, I think in Arabia. This is strict law. So, if some golden ornament is lying on the street, out of this fear, and people are simple at the time, they will not touch. Exactly like garbage, they will not touch. It was lying on the street. The law was that nobody should touch. If some golden ornament is there, the actual proprietor, he will come and pick it up. You do not require to assist him also, taking answer. No, you cannot touch. If you touch, your hands will be cut off. So if one learns this habit, this other property, other's money, is just like garbage, nobody touches. Matrivat Paradareshu Paradabeshu Lostrava. Atavat Sarvabhuteshu. And one who thinks like himself. Sarvabhuteshu, all living entities. What is that? If I uh, prick you, then you feel some pain. So I should prick others. This is called Atavat. Uh, what you feel yourself? If somebody cuts your throat, do you feel very happy? No. Then why is you cut throat of others? Other animals are me one day. So these three things, Chanaka Pandit has said, that this is, if one has learned these three things, he is learned. Not that he has got 
university degrees, no. Mahri Vat Pradari Su, Paradar Bhishu Lostava, Atavasar Bhute Su. So this is gentleman. This is educated, culture. So this man, Ajamila, as soon as became fallen down from the sadhacha, gentleman's behavior, the next stage is this Bhandakai, Koitabai, Chojai. One must earn his livelihood, but he has fallen down to the sixth grade. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, or lower than that. Everyone must have his means of livelihood. So, what is the means of livelihood of the first class man? That is the Pathan, Pathan, Jajan, Jajan, Dhan, Pratigra. First class man means Brahmin in first class. Their occupational duty is first of all he must become a very learned scholar in the Vedic literature. Viva Pata Bhavad Bhikkhu, he must become a learned scholar. And after becoming a scholar, it is not that that he will enjoy himself the knowledge. No. He will distribute the knowledge. This is one that first class man or the Brahmana, first of all he must become a learned scholar. If he is not scholar, what he nonsense he will teach. So he, the first position is that he must become a learned scholar. And the next uh, business is to teach others, to make this up. Formerly, even fifty years or sixty years ago in India, the Brahmana would not accept anyone's service. Because whatever he has knowledge, uh, he'll sit down anywhere underneath the tree or in the corridor of somebody and he'll invite the village, a small children, and they will go and he'll teach little grammar, little uh, mathematics gradually. And children will bring from their father and mother, somebody will bring rice, somebody will bring dal, somebody will bring something. So he has no necessity of making any contract that you give me so many dollars, then I shall teach you. No. Free. Free education. In this way, India was free education. So, Pathan Pathan. Jajana-jajana. Then next business is Brahman should be a devotee worshipping deity, either Vishnu or sometimes other demigods. So jajana-jajana. He will personally do it and he will teach others how to worship. Patan, patan, jajana. And his livelihood by voluntary contribution, whatever people will give, that's all. People used to give Brahman. So, patan patan jajan jajan dana pratigraha. A Brahman would receive. People were very honest that this man is teaching our children. He does not tell this man is teaching me how to worship, how to become well behaved. So, there are no scarcity. Enough. So, he would simply use as much as he required. Balance he will give each other. Not that keep in store for tomorrow. No, that is not Brahman. Whatever is come today, I use it for my necessities of life and balance I give to the poor or somebody else, somebody else. Or make some festival. Patana, patana, jajana, jajana, dana, pradhis. So we require some income for our maintenance. So this was the Brahman's business. There is no question of doing some business or making some profession or going to the office or going to the factory. This is not Brahman. 
Then Kshatriya, next, second class. What is his livelihood? Uh, his livelihood to take tax. The Kshatriyas were entrusted in certain villages. Uh, that you look after these villages, that the people are becoming well behaved. So Khatriya's business was to see whether Brahman is actually acting as Brahman. A Kshatriya actually acting as Kshatriya. This was the ruler's business to see. And to see that nobody is unemployed. Nobody is a devil swart. Because if you have no business, no occupation, then your brain will plan something. Uh, this this plan is choke jump, uh, cheating. Uh, they had no opportunity to plan all this thing. Uh, the Kshatriya business income is to take some tax. What is a tax? Not in money, but people are engaged in agricultural work. So whatever he has produced, he gives twenty-five percent to the ruler. That's all. That includes income tax, this tax, that tax. No more tax. Take whatever I have got, you take twenty-five percent. So this is Satriya's uh, occupation, second class. And the third class, Vaishya. Vaishya means uh, produce food grain, krishi, agriculture. Not produce food in the slaughterhouse. No. Uh, slaughterhouse, even the sixth class, seventh class man, they did not know how to produce food, how to live, I mean, the aborigines in the jungle. They were hunting one animal, then eating. Not that civilized nation organized slaughterhouse. Oh, how horrible. Huh? If you want to animal, then you go to the jungle, kill one animal, and eat. The government is not going to maintain a slaughterhouse for you. This is the civilization. Uh, so, our eatable should be food grains. Uh, Krishi, Goraksha, and milk. Uh, Krishi means by agriculture process you can produce fruits, flowers, vegetables, then rice, uh, wheat, and pulses, and you have got milk. Then where is your want, scarcity? This is civilization. Uh, the, the meat eating is meant for the fourth, uh, sixth class, seventh class man who does not know, who remain naked, and they can neither produce uh, food, neither cloth in the jungle. It is for them. They also were not uh, very much expert to maintain a slaughterhouse. When you need, you can kill one lower animal, not cow. The cow is not available in the jungle. You can have some deer or some boar. So these uh, unimportant animals were killed by them. That is the sixth class, not the first class, second class, third class, fourth class. No. Uh, and the fourth class man who could not uh, utilize his brain as first class, second class, third class, then he becomes fourth class. His business to help work. These higher three class. Uh, so in this way, Everyone must have his means of livelihood. And I have already described that this is the way of livelihood. First class man, this is livelihood. Second class man, this is livelihood. And third class man, this is livelihood. Fourth class man, and below the fourth class man means fifth class. Uh, the fifth class man, the jungle man, by hunting uh, like that. But this class of men, they, they do not accept any of these livelihood men, but they cheating, cheating. And that we'll find out. 
so many cheaters in big, big cities, and so many pickpockets, so many uh, thieves, rogues, and now the present society is perplexed, crying, why and what to do. You are maintaining sixth class, seventh class man. Your education is meant for that. Why you are afraid of crimes now? This is the desert. Now enjoy the desert. As you reap, so you, as you sow, so you reap. Therefore, this moment is specially meant for making first class, second class man at least. Or even third class, fourth class. But what is this? You are producing sixth class, seventh class, tenth class man, and you expect that there will be no crime, people will be happy, will be peaceful. That is not. If you want to be happy, peaceful, then you must take this movement, Krishna consciousness, and try to uh, create at least a group of men, first class. That's why we are doing that. People will see their behavior, their character, their mode of life, and at least they will be attracted. So this man, Ajami, on account of his association with a prostitute, that is illicit sex. Sex means with married by that's all. So this is the first fall down. Then he lost his all gentle behavior. And then he came to this platform. Vanda khoi khoi tabai chodjai. So as soon as one becomes fallen down from the standard of gentle life, they must take to this profession. There is no other alternative. You cannot check it. This is natural fall down one after another. So, Vandākhai. What time after? After some thirty, very soon is there. Huh? Anyway. So, Vandī. Vandī means now, especially in the United States, nobody goes out at night. No gentleman goes out of that. In our Brooklyn temple, nobody goes out at night. Did you see? Uh, America is so advanced in civilization. Uh, the result is that one cannot go uh, uh, on the street at night. Uh, in India, it is so poverty stricken, still, even in villages, they are freely moving, man moving. At dead of night, they know there is no danger. Uh, still, although they are so poverty stricken now, uh, you will be surprised that in 1942 there was an artificial famine created by the government. Uh, people suffered starvation. Uh, poor man, they died out of starvation, but there was no report of stealing. No report. Uh, one American gentleman went there. This is the condition. In our country there would have been revolution. And these people even do not steal others' property. Dying starvation. Uh, Collision means it has increased. Uh, the same thieves, cheaters, everything were, were there at the time. And it was real incidences. But now it has become daily at that, due to the collision. Uh, so his business was koitoboi, uh, koitoboi means cheating. Cheating, uh, now what kind of cheating? Uh, the, the cheater will. Uh, uh, round, surround one man, and he will say, have you seen some gold lump falling down? I have seen, I know, what is love. Uh, then another man will come, 
uh, sir, I have got this uh, gold uh, lump. Uh, if you pay me something, I will give you. Uh, but that is not gold, uh, actually. But he creates a situation that somebody lost his gold lump. Now he has got, he wants to sell me. All right, I give you ten rupees, give me. <laughs> this is called kuldavo. I know something. <laughs> so, bandhat khai khai tavai shojjai, and then direct stealing. So this kind of profession is gorhitam, avamadam. This is not human civilization. But this has become a common thing. Gorhitam is vritti. Vritti means occupation. So, if you become first class man, you have occupation. Uh, that pattern, pattern, judgment. If you are single class man, you have got your occupation. If you are third class man, the Krishi Goraksha. If you are fourth class man, then serve other. If you are fifth class man, then go to the jungle and hunt some animal honey. Then these persons, they cheating, stealing, uh, these are the occupation of the tenth class, eighth class, like that. Uh, this is not all. If you produce such tenth class and eighth class and seventh class men, then how you can expect without crime in the society? That is not possible. Uh, so we should know that this is the defect of civilization, that by education, by practice, by examples, we are simply creating eighth class, tenth class of men, so that cannot be increased. Therefore, the human society must take this Krishna consciousness movement and teach people at least how to become uh, second class, third class, if not first class. But there must be first class men, second class men. Then everything, social affair, political affair, will go very smoothly without any trouble. Otherwise, you have to meet with this class of profession, uh, stealing, cheating, and so on. Thank you very much.